Welcome back to Let's Talk Live. The University of the District of Columbia is the nation's only urban land grant institution. And this Thursday and Friday, the university is hosting an urban agricultural symposium and Green Living Expo in celebration of World Food Day. Here with more on the event is Dr. Sabina O'Hara. It's great to have you here. Thank you, thanks for having me. So for people that don't know what urban agriculture is, why don't we start there and explain that? Sure, so urban agriculture it might almost seem like an oxymoron for some people, right? Because we think of agriculture as something that we do in rural areas. Right. Well, um, it's coming of age in, in cities as well because we really need to add the opportunity to have easy access to fresh food in our urban communities, right in our neighborhoods. And so we've set out to really write the book on what does it mean and how can it be done when you don't have wide open spaces, but when you have narrow streets and high buildings. Is it fair to say we've gotten to a point where a lot of us don't know where our food is coming from? Absolutely, we have an increasing disconnect to our food system and so that's one important aspect but also you know when food travels longer and longer distances most of the produce in the United States is grown in California well that's an awful long way uh, from Washington DC right and so um, food travels long distances is not as as freshly harvested as it might be right. plus we add greenhouse gases every time we do this and, right. and food travels across the country so what does urban agricultural have to do with uh, green living and urban sustainability well a lot it has a lot to do with that so it's about four components we call it our urban food hubs concept and so the urban food hubs consist of four components uh, food production that's certainly what you think of when mm -hmm. you hear uh, agriculture but it's also about preparing food because we have become so distanced to our from our food we don't know anymore really how to prepare fresh food um, right. and there is an opportunity for entrepreneurship too if you add value to the produce you harvest let's say you turn a tilapia into a smoked tilapia fillet right mm -hmm. there is a lot of value to be gained the third component is food distribution what are new models for markets for food not just grocery stores and farmers market but community-based models, cooperative models, and niche markets. Here in the district, we have great opportunities because we are such an ethnically diverse community and everybody likes food right. that comes from where they come from and what they're familiar with. Let's talk about what's gonna be discussed at the symposium on so Thursday and Friday. The symposium will discuss those four components, the food production, the food preparation and adding value, uh, the food distribution systems, and last but not least, the closing the loop through waste and water management. Agriculture can do a lot uh, in terms of adding to urban sustainability. Cities are now places where most of us live. 80% of the U.S. population lives in cities. And so we need to do things right and create food systems in cities that also add to water management and capture rainwater, for example, increase permeable surfaces so we don't add water runoff to our stormwater system, which is already overloaded. Right. So a lot of, you know, connecting the dots, closing the loops, right. doing things more like nature would do them. Who benefits from the food that uh, you guys have been growing? So uh, we give a lot of our food away. Actually, last year we gave eight tons away. Uh, we have a collaboration with uh, uh, Bread for the City, DC Central Kitchen, but also the Washington a Capital Area Food Bank um, have benefited from our food. But we also uh, deliver food to some of our restaurants in the district. Um, the Hay Adams has been the recipient of wow. some of our food. And we are just now launching a collaboration with Spike Mendelson with some of his restaurants. All right, I give you a magic wand right now. What would you do with that magic wand if you could do it? Because you're doing great stuff already. Oh, if I had my druthers, we would have <laughs> at least eight completed urban food hubs in every ward of the district. And we have how many right now? We have five that are works in progress progress and we're looking for three more locations. We have a lot to do because it all starts with what you put in your body initially and that all feeds this and that's how change happens and we have to start eating knowing what we're putting in our bodies because we're just putting 
Absolutely, okay, and so knowing what we put in our bodies and also using it as an entrepreneurial opportunity. Right. If people want to go to the symposium and want to learn more about it, where should they go? They should go to our website, uh, www.udc.edu backslash causes, Excellent. and you'll find a registration link. I'm going to tell them all about that more, uh, all about that right now. For more information on the Urban Agricultural Symposium this weekend, you can go to udc.edu, and we'll have more of Let's Talk Live after the break. Thank you so much for coming in. Very Thank fascinating. You.